I am today announcing uh, that I will be a candidate for leader of the Federal Parliamentary Labor Party. It's not something that comes to me naturally. It's not something growing up very close to here in public housing in Camperdown that you aspire to. It is, however, something that I believe I have a responsibility to put myself forward because I believe I'm the best person to lead Labor back into government. We've lost three elections in a row. That has an impact on those Australians who rely upon us to improve their education, to look after their health care, to build public transport infrastructure, to look after their interests. And I believe, therefore, that I've got a responsibility to put myself forward. I've already had some discussions with caucus members. I'll continue to discuss it with caucus members, but also rank and file members of the Labor Party. I'm proud that together with Kevin Rudd, I initiated reforms that did two things. One, they gave the rank and file membership of our party a say in the leadership and therefore the direction of the party. But secondly also, that provided stability. I've been loyal to uh, the leaders that I've served, including Bill Shorten, who's had loyalty uh, from the caucus, I think unprecedented, over the last six years. The reforms that we put in place were a part of ensuring that that occurred. If it's a contested ballot, and I would welcome uh, people's right uh, to put themselves forward, I'm sure that it will be conducted in a fair, inclusive and democratic fashion. And I certainly think that the last time it occurred between myself and Bill, it actually put us in a strong position to hit the ground running as a first term opposition. I think Australians know me. I've been around in politics now for two decades. I've explained my life story, which I found quite difficult uh, through uh, working with Karen Middleton's biography uh, that she released in 2016. I sometimes get things wrong. If I do that, I'll say that that's the case. I'm someone who can take on the other side of politics in a vigorous fashion. And people who saw my record as Leader of the House of Representatives and as Manager of Opposition Business will know that that's the case. But they will also know that I'm prepared to reach out across the aisle. And if an idea is good and it needs bipartisan support, such as the building of an airport and support for uh, Western Sydney jobs, and the aerotropolis there, then I'll do that too. What you see is what you get with me. For better or worse. I'm a bit rough at the edges, but I think that Australians don't want someone who just uh, utters uh, talking points. So from time to time, uh, I will uh, not be as, uh, as articulate as someone who's simply reading from a script. But I offer myself forward. I do it in, in a way which I wasn't expecting, frankly. Uh, the truth is uh, that I, along with, uh, along with others, was expecting a different result last night. I'm disappointed by the result that we got. But it's now time to stand up, dust ourselves off, and get on with the business of making Labor an opposition that holds the government to account but also a political party that offers a different agenda to the government, a fairer agenda, a more inclusive agenda, an agenda that brings the nation together on economic, social and environmental policy so that we can meet the challenges of the future.